Okay, we're going to be looking at some bones now. The first is a skull. This is a frontal bone. Nasal bone. Zygomatic bone. Maxilla. Mandible. Parietal bone, occipital bone. Parietal, frontal, nasal, maxilla, zygomatic, occipital. Mandible, temporal, temporal. On our temporal bone, we have the external acoustic meatus, also called external auditory meatus. And this is still part of our temporal bone. It's the zygomatic process of the temporal bone. This is our foramen magnum. Most of our foramen, we put the foramen word afterwards, but with this one, you have to put the foramen word first or it's wrong. Foramen magnum. This is the maxilla. It is the palatine process of the maxilla, but you just have to put maxilla. This is the palatine bone here. This is occipital mandible, and this is the ramus of the mandible. Mental foramen. On our verte vertebral column, we have the cervical vertebrae. C1 is the atlas. C2 is the axis. We have our 12 thoracic vertebrae, 5 lumbar vertebrae, our sacrum, and our It's not recording. Okay, in addition to this, we have our intervertebral discs padding each vertebrae and a little tiny hole here between each other vertebrae. And because between the vertebrae, we call them intervertebral foramen. This is an individual vertebrae, body of the vertebrae. Spinous process, transverse process, and vertebral foramen, as opposed to intervertebral foramen, which is between the individual vertebrae here. On our ribs, we have these are your true ribs because they go directly into the sternum. These are your flow false ribs. I mean, sorry, floating ribs because they connect together and then connect into the sternum. These are your false ribs because they don't attach to anything. Pointer's not long to work. These are your false ribs. Okay. It's not recording. Just give it till it gets ready to go, and then I'll start talking again. Okay, on our sternum, we have this is our sternum, 
we have three parts, major parts. This is a manubrium, this is a body, and this is a xiphoid process. Remember, xiphoid starts with an X. Xiphoid, P H O I D. Okay, and then this is your jugular notch at the top up here. Hyoid bone, clavicle, scapula, and on the scapula we have to remember the spine, the acromion, and the coracoid process. You get the order mixed up, remember the acronym SAC, S-A-C, that makes it be spine, Spine, acromium, coracoid process. Spine, acromium, coracoid process. In addition to this, you have to know the glenoid cavity, also called glenoid fossa. This is your humerus. This is the head of the humerus, the greater tubercle, the lesser tubercle. This is the medial epicondyle. The lateral epicondyle is kind of hiding back here. You need to turn it around to see it. Trochlea. This is a capitulum, a little ball. If it's round shape, it's capitulum. Just think about putting on your cap and pitching the ball. Capitulum. This is your ulna. This is your radius. Ulna, radius. Ulna, 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 radius, radius. Radius is by the thumb. You remember circles have radiuses, pi r squared, and all that stuff. Radius is the thumb side. This is your ulna, and it has two. Well, several additional parts. This is the styloid process of the ulna, styloid process of the radius. This is the trochlear notch, trochlear notch, and this is the olecranon. Just this little tip end here. Okay, on your hands, we have an acronym here. Okay, our acronym here is Some Lunatics Try Postures. They truly can't handle. So, and we start on the proximal end, so closest to the arm here, and you start right up here, and it's Some Lunatics Try Postures. They truly can't handle. Obviously, that's not what we really want to talk about. We want to talk about the actual bones. So, sc scaphoid, triquintrum. Uh, I, I said that totally wrong. I'm going to just not over record it because this is, I think, a recording of 1 million and three. This is scaphoid, lunate, triquintrum, pisiform. Up at the top, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, hamate. Let's go over those again. Okay, with our try. They truly can't handle. Now we're going to start at our most distally end here. So it's scaphoid, lunate, 
Triquintrum, Pisiform, Trapezium, Trapezoid, Capitate, Hamate. And if you get disoriented, you can always go right down here and add your Capitate right there. Okay, this is a pelvis. It, you can call it a coxal bone, oxcoxy. Uh, you can't call it a hip bone or it's going to be wrong. I don't care if your book says it, it's just wrong. Okay, parts of it, are, and of course this is not part of the pelvis proper. This is actually part of the spinal column, the sacrum and coccyx down here. But, and this is a sacroiliac joint. This is the ilium, this is the ischium, this is the pubis, pubic symphysis. You remember pubis, you know the word, you've known the word pubic forever. It's right in the anterior portion. The ischium is in the back. Don't itch your ischium in public. Ilium. Okay, and two other things. This is the acetabulum. It's spelled like ace tabulum and it's actually where it's a socket for the head of the femur and this is your obturator foramen you remember we took the disarticulated half pelvis and talked into it and said obturator obturator see obturator foramen here's our femur this is the caudal or dorsal aspect because of these. These are condyles. See how round they are? So on the front, these are epicondyles. Okay, head of the femur. This is the great trochanter and the lesser trochanter. Oh, and our patella. Okay, tibia fibula. Fibula, 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 fibula. Tibia, 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 tibia. Don't get that wrong. Tibia. This is the medial malleolus. This is the lateral malleolus. Those are those little things that stick out when you feel of your ankles right at the top. But malleolus. Medial is always on your tibia, so you know which tibia you're looking at. This, looking, if you can look down on the top, is your condyle, and this is the tibial tuberosity. Tibial tuberosity on the tibia. Okay, feet. We have our tarsals, our metatarsals, and our phalanges. Um, of the tarsal bones, this is kind of this talus, navicular, cuboid, medial cuneiform, intermediate cuneiform, lateral cuneiform. Let's look at that one more time. Calcaneus. Calcaneus. Talus. Navicular. Cuboid. Medial cuneiform. Intermediate cuneiform. Lateral cuneiform. Now, don't get mixed up. Carpals and tarsals, feet or tarsals, hands or carpals. So, tarsals, metatarsals, and phalanges. On a hand, it would be carpals, metacarpals, and phalanges. Okay, hopefully this recorded better, and that's all.